Shitting on me, now you need me. Bitch was phony for a reason. It was only for a season. Put the blood while he was breathing. They just some motherfucking demons. He said he gotta get even. Now your partners is bleeding. No need for hollering and screaming. Caught in the moment, but still life goes on. Right now, don't call me on the phone, cause I'm in the zone. I can't even understand why we've been struggling so long. I'm gonna fight along, whether right or wrong. I done paid my dues. Many losses in these streets Got fans standing on their feet Hear me speak I'm not afraid to lose Cause I done took so many losses Tell the devil get about me I'm not afraid First off is Charles J yeah, Just in case you ain't heard of me They told me it was too late But I promise that I'll be the first to speak Most of these rappers they fake But you can't have your way to St. Burke here Everybody said it won't be Till they see smoke Then they realize they'd rather have turkey me What it do, what it do, is 903 Boxing. I'm your host, Charles J. Okay, man. Uh, yeah, uh, a couple of days ago, man, I had some technical difficulties. And, uh, yeah, yeah, shit was fucking up. And, uh, okay, and that was with my uh, device. So, uh, yeah, I got that situated. And then, you know, Instagram, they decided to, um, yeah, they blocked me for what, three days? Yeah, and said some shit like, yeah, I thought it was over some shit I said, because, you know, I say some shit. But, <laughs> but nah, but nah. <laughs> they say that I was trying to get more likes or some shit. I did some shit to get more likes, which I don't know what the hell it was. But either way it go, I'm back now. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm out of jail. I'm out of Instagram jail, and I'm a free Instagram. Yeah, yeah, I'm free on Instagram again. So, yeah, I'm coming with the shits. So, yeah, uh, it's 903 Boxing now. And I would like for you to subscribe to the channel. Uh, press that like button. Uh, comment. Talk to me. And I'm going to talk back to you, man. I told you, we over here cooking. We cooking. This shit is real hot. It's real flavorful. It's real spicy. Yeah, it, this shit, this shit, this shit nice, man. And it's a lot of sauce. We keep extra sauce. We never run out of sauce, man. This shit dripping, man. This shit dripping, man. Finger looking good god damn it so yeah let's talk about this shit man um gary antoine russell i gotta be honest with you bro i gotta be honest uh I, i've mentioned my favorite fighters uh let me give you a quick rundown uh why they ain't active right now but why my favorite for sure for sure that that's hands down uh he spoke up for uh his people uh, he spoke up for black folks when he didn't have to. And it's a lot of other things he did. But that alone, yeah, it, you get my loyalty for that. Yeah, that alone, why do I always have my loyalty? Because he spoke up at a, on the biggest stage when he didn't have to. So, yeah, why do, it, it, yeah, 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 you got my respect for that. And, yeah, I will always, I will always appreciate that. And the reason why, because a lot of us don't do that. And I want to be honest with you. Um... 
I get so angry, bro. I'm so angry. Yeah, I'm very goddamn angry. And yeah, all you. And see, I can't stand a motivational speaker ass motherfucker. If you black, you should not be a motivational speaker. That's for white boys. Yeah, that's for white boys. All you motherfuckers do is lie to these black kids. You don't want to tell them the truth. You want them to think they can do what a white boy can do. But you can never do what a white boy can do in America. So yeah, yeah, I get real angry. I'm not with that motivational speaking act. Because all it is is lies. Yeah. And and so yeah, I get real angry. Yeah, I get real angry because my ancestors, bro, they fought for us, and they went through a lot of shit, bro. They fought, bro. They fought for us. So yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And I know a lot of you motherfuckers get tired of hearing that shit, but now, nah, bro, my people fought. For, I, people died for us to be here, bro. People died so that we would have more rights than what we have. See, we just stopped fighting. Yeah, we stopped fighting. Hell, we ain't fought since what about the about the eighties? Yeah, we ain't we ain't had a movement. We ain't had shit going on since the eighties. And I don't want to hear nothing about no Black Lives Matter. The, 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 uh, them the white folks. Them them some white folks. And it's a couple of brothers and a couple of, uh, LGBT members. Uh, that's in the uh, Black Lives Matter. That ain't that ain't us. Yeah, McDonald's sponsor uh Black Lives Matter, and that's a white boy company. So yeah, uh, that ain't no black movement. I want to make that very clear. Black Lives Matter is not a black movement. Uh, black folks. So yeah, uh, I get I get angry. Like I say, man, we had people who 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 went through hell, man, just to try to make a better life for us. So that's why I. I'm so passionate because a lot of you motherfuckers that's here today, I don't give a fuck about you motherfuckers. I don't give a fuck about a lot of you grown motherfuckers. Yeah, because I know you motherfuckers just, yeah, a lot of you motherfuckers just uh, want some money, some dope, and pussy. So, yeah, you that's all you. You motherfuckers just want some shiny shit and a bunch of bananas and fruit. That, that that's all you want, and you and you and you comfortable in that barrel, uh, fighting with the other crabs. Yeah, you you comfortable in that barrel. See, I'm trying to get out that barrel, but I want my people to get out that barrel too. I'm not happy just getting out that barrel alone. I want to bring my people with me, and so yeah, it's very important that you look through your history, bro, and see what your people did for you, bro. And maybe it can motivate some of you motherfuckers to stand for something, cause a lot of you motherfuckers don't stand for shit, and a lot of motherfuckers. Uh, you motherfuckers think you tough, but you really ain't tough, bro. Nah, you ain't tough. You just tough with your own. So, yeah, I had to kind of get that out. So, so uh, Gary Antoine Russell. Now, I said Wilder is is ultimately my favorite fighter, but he's not active. Okay, after that, you got Spence. Uh, I like him a lot as a person, and I like him as a fighter. After that, I would say Devin Haney. Yep, Devin Haney. Then I would probably say Shakur. Yep. And I, I, pro I was going At first I had Tank probably at that Fifth spot but I think I gotta move Tank back bro I think Gary Antoine Russell is top five My favorite fighters bro I think I think yeah he's top five favorite. I like him more than I like Tank Uh Gary Antoine Russell Is a Major problem bro He's a major problem Bro Okay, let's get to let's get to some um uh, some of his attributes and okay, he's a one forty pounder. He's five foot eight, but you would think he's shorter because he he crouches down and he and he, he uses a lot of head movement. He ducks a lot. Man, the dude is phenomenal. Man, the speed is there. He got a great snapping, very quick jab, and he doubles up with it. Uh, I gotta be honest with you. There's no favorite punch that I have of get, bro. He throw he throws uppercuts. He throws the, oh that hook though. Now nah, that hook, that that hook will what hurt post. Yeah, man. Uh, it might be his hook, his, his strongest punch, but he throws the uppercut very hard. He throws the overhand uh uh left hard because he's a southpaw. Yeah, he throws the overhand left very hard, and uh. Yeah, man. Uh, and 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 I'm gonna tell you another thing that really impresses me about Gary Antoine. He's 25 years old. Um, he comes in the fight. It's almost like he's ready to get hit. Yeah, come on and hit me. Uh, cause cause his goal is. And I'm gonna tell you another thing. Uh, Gary Antoine wrote. I said that he's Sean Porter 2.0. I take that back. Uh, nah, he's even more phenomenal than than that. He he's better than a Sean Porter 2.0. 
uh, Gary Antoine Russell has a very high ring IQ. He can outbox you. He can outbox anybody at 140, but that ain't what he want to do. No, he want to fuck some up. No, no, he don't want to outbox you. He don't want to win on points. He's 15 and 0 with 15 knockout. Bro, I... I ain't saying, I'm going to tell you something. And he do remind me a little bit of Mike Tyson, old baby mouth. I got to be on, because you know Mike Tyson, even though I talk shit about him, because he's a coon, a baboon, and a buffoon. Uh, Mike Tyson, man, the way he came in was phenomenal with the head move. So, yeah, Gary Antoine reminds me a lot of Mike Tyson, but more technically sound. More technically sound. And like I say, he got a chin on him. He got a chin, bro. He got a fucking chin, and he know it. And all the Russells got chins. That's that, that why I say they all got similar shit, bro. They, they they can take a punch. They all hit hard. Uh, it just They just mean, bro. They got that mean shit, man. And like I say, man, rest in peace to their father, man. Rest in peace to their oldest brother. Um, man, he instilled some, some great things in there, man. Gary Antoine Russell, I like this kid, man. I really like this kid, man. I like him, man. I like him, man. And I'm going to tell you something else, man. I'm a, uh, I told you he knocks everybody out at 140, in my opinion. Right now. Right now. Right now, he will stop Josh Taylor. He stops Jose Ramirez. He will stop Regis Prograde. I told you the only person that I think pro could probably stand up to him, and I don't think he wins, is Brian Norman Jr. Yeah, yeah, he's going to have a hard time stopping Brian Norman. Brian Norman Jr. is a machine. Yeah, and I think Brian Norman beats all them dudes too. And I think uh, Brian Norman and Gary Antoine would be a would, would be a great fight. I just got Gary Antoine to speed, and he's more technically sound. Um, I got Gary Antoine Russell knocking out uh, Montana Love in three rounds, inside three rounds. And I'm gonna tell you another thing. Uh, he's gonna take over the 140 pound division very soon. Uh, and keep in mind, uh, I just watched the press conference. He finna fight old Rancis Bartellamy, and which is a good opponent. He's gonna stop him inside of five rounds. Mark my words. Um, the super fight will be uh, Gary Antoine Russell versus Jerron Boots Ennis. Um, I gotta be honest with you. Um, Boots is scary, bro. But I'm gonna be honest, bro. And they, uh, I gotta let y'all know, they fought three times in the Olympics. Might have been three or four. And Gary Antoine won three of them and lost one. So yeah, he beat Ennis like three times, which I'm not trying to compare that to the professional because they both grown. But when you look at Ennis, He's a monster, but it's a style that that everybody got. Well, I'm not going to say everybody because nobody beat Floyd. So I can't say it's a style that's his kryptonite. But I think the kryptonite to uh, Ennis, Ennis uh, would be the style of a Gary Antoine Russ, a pressure fighter that's going to stay on the inside state. He going to keep his head in your goddamn chest. Man, this dude, and he's a machine. He don't get tired. He throws a lot of punches. He has great footwork. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I, this, this, this dude's special, man. This dude's special. Like I said, I get, I'm real excited about this man. I'm real excited about Gary Antoine. I looked at the press conference. Uh, he had Gary Russell Jr. by his side. Man, Gary Russell Jr., I got so much respect for you, bro. I got so much respect for you, bro. You a, you a real big brother, bro. And I know that you're going to uh, make your father proud. And I know that you, you know, I lost my father. So, yeah, I get a little emotional talking about it. And I lost my sister up five months ago, man. Uh, so yeah, I get this. this yeah, I get a little emotional, and yeah, I'm passionate about shit. So yeah, y'all gotta excuse me for that. But yeah, man, I think Gary Antoine Russell. Uh, I think he next up, bro. He's the scariest fight. I think he more scarier than Tank. Yeah, yeah. That's why I say uh, he's my top five favorite fighter. Gary Antoine Russell is a huge problem. And folks, if you haven't seen him yet, I advise you you gotta watch it. Watch out for him, bro. He's scary, man. He's scary. And the thing about it. This is what makes him so scared. He don't care about getting hit, and he got the chin. He got the chin. He got the beard, and he's not trying to feel you out. He's coming in to destroy you. That's what he wants to do. He don't wants to. He There's no filling out process with Gary Anton Russell. He's coming from round one when the bell rings. Your ass better be ready because he's coming straight at you with force, with power, with speed and intellect. So, yeah, I just had to break that down for you. Uh, this is 903 Boxing. Uh, I am your host, Charles J. Subscribe to the channel, man.
right. Uh, press that like button. Sure, man. Hit the bell icon. It will notify you when I drop videos, man. We dropping them real fast, man. So, yeah. Um, yeah, man. I love the kid, man. I love the kid. And, uh, yeah, I got some more videos coming. I, hell, I might do three of them today. Hell, I told you they put me in jail. So, yeah. I'm out of Instagram jail. The shit is going. Yeah, we back pumping, man. So, yeah. With that, I'm out.